Dr. Shannon Wong. Welcome to Austin Eye. I'm creating this video to give you an experience or a preview of what it's like being a patient in our practice. Today I'm going to introduce a patient who's going to have custom intralasic laser vision correction. His name is Jason. You'll see him, you'll meet him, and uh, he's going to have surgery today. And you'll see what it's like as he enters the office, has his initial eye exam, goes through surgery, you'll view actual surgical footage of his procedure, and then we'll interview him uh, before and after surgery, so you kind of get a uh, start to finish experience. I hope it's useful for you. Enjoy. Thank you. Jason, what procedure are you going to have done today? LASIK eye surgery. What are your thoughts about having this procedure done before surgery? I'm pretty excited. I'm a little nervous and anxious like most people would be, but um, my wife's had this procedure and everything's gone well, so I'm, I'm anxious to get it done. How and why did you choose Dr. Shannon Wong? I chose him because he did the procedure on my wife a few years ago and also my sister-in-law and a few friends and they've all been 100% uh, satisfied and he comes highly recommended so he was pretty much the only doctor I looked at. Super! Thanks Jason! Thank you. Hey Jason, good to see you. Hi, nice to meet you. You ready to go today? Yes sir. Alright, here. Okay. Go ahead and take off your glasses. We've already done your eye exam. Let's just double check a few things. Come on, hold it. Perfect. Looks good. Okay, go ahead and sit back. We've already taken all prints, and we're going to give you a little medicine to relax you. We'll numb your eyes, and we'll get going in a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's it. Good. Blink twice. Open wide. One, two, three. Good. Beautiful. Blink a little bit. Perfect. Blink once. Open wide. One, two, three. Perfect. Here. Perfect. It's actually went up to three point eight. Is it stable? Stable now. Good. Thank you. Beautiful. You doing okay there, Jason? Yes, sir. All right, we'll be done in the next 30 seconds. Steady. And. 15 seconds remaining. Beautiful. 10 seconds remaining. 5 seconds remaining. Procedure complete. Good. We'll lift everything away. Perfect. That looks great. Super All right, I'm going to place a patch over your left eye, Jason. Close gently. Let's see the treatment is 4.34, and I added one. Now the red light will get a lot fuzzier. Lights will get dimmer, just scared the red blinking light. Tracking. Refresh. Keep looking at the 
perfect. I'm going to smooth everything out. Couldn't be better. One eye down, one to go. I'm going to add a few little drops here to dry softly. Take this away. I'm going to patch your right eye. And on your left eye. Blink a little bit. Verify the paper, please. Close channel. One eye. Your right eye went perfectly.
tracks the movement of your eye and it just took a little longer for the tracker to fixate on your left eye so that when you're kind of waiting on it. will be foggy, but then they'll be clear. You can sit up. Okay. Good job. And we'll take a little picture. Okay. Okay, good. So, uh, Jason just had his surgery. He's come in for his one-day follow-up visit, uh, and he's had a very normal course. Surgery went well, according to me, but we'll ask him in a moment. Uh, his vision, he's less than 24 hours out, so he had surgery at about Four o'clock yesterday, right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, it's been less than 24 hours. Uh, his right eye is 20-20, his left eye is 20-30, uh, it will improve with time, and uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions. And uh, so, what was it like during surgery? Uh, Y'all explained it really well to me, I was comfortable uh, during the whole procedure, you as well as your assistants were telling me what was going on everything that was going on, so I wasn't uncomfortable at any time. Uh, it was very comfortable. No pain? No pain at all. Okay, and uh, did you see anything scary during the operation? Not really. I mean, you know, you saw the flashing lights and the tracking, and that all seemed normal to me. I was prepared for all that, and it never, I was never uncomfortable during the procedure at all. So you don't see anything like, uh, you don't see any instruments or anything like that? I never saw anything you. besides lights. Okay, got it. And then... Uh, so you had surgery, and it probably took about 20 to 25 minutes to treat both eyes, and uh, then somebody drove you home, and what was it like in the first few hours after you got home? Uh, there was a little bit of stinging because of sensitive sunlight, but that was all stuff that you know I knew was going to happen. Uh, I got home, put my drops in, and, and laid down and rested for a little while, and after you know, uh, probably about a, an hour nap, I woke up and I was already being, you know, able to see pretty well. There was still a little bit of cloudiness, but over time that's faded and now I'm seeing very well now. Okay, and then you uh, you woke up this morning and uh, uh, your uh, what did you notice when you woke up after a full night's rest? Uh, I could see really well. It was pretty pretty amazing. I kind of wish I would have done this a long time ago. I didn't have to fumble for my glasses on the nightstand. Didn't have to get up and put my contacts in. And you know, things are starting to get get normal. Right, and did you drive yourself here? I drove myself yourself? here with no okay. problems at all. Okay, great. And you feel like you can go to work today? I feel comfortable all right, doing good. all of that. And uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, basically, his vision will keep getting better for the next uh, couple of months. He'll have a little halo that he'll notice around oncoming lights or street lights at night, but then that should fade too. Uh, when he's doing so well, I just would check you in a, a month. Uh, I think if you just keep using your eye drops, uh, you'll gradually get better day by day, week by week. In a month, yeah, I expect it to be 20-20 or better from each eye and uh, maintenance free. Uh, the only restrictions I'd ask him uh, to adhere to would be don't rub your eyes for the first few days. Uh, maybe wear little goggles when you sleep at night. Right. Uh, if you exercise, you can exercise, just don't squeeze your eyes real tight. Uh, if you're a swimmer, uh, or enjoy water sports, don't swim for about a week. Um, but people typically could uh, uh, go running, cycling, uh, do outdoor sports, lift weights, uh, get on the treadmill uh, today. Um, so the downtime is very minimal. Um, any other questions you can, can you think of? Well, the only regret I have is that I didn't do it a long time ago. I wish I would have done it a long time ago. Everything looks fantastic and your staff is excellent. Thank you. That's it.